line for four hours at the polls and I had to leave. I have a disability. Your name I for the record, you have. I've been on the list. I'm not going to leave here like I had to leave the polls without giving my two no, minutes. Have you, have, have you not been called up? Uh, then you'll have to leave. We have one Please state your name. We can hold the four. Just please just state your name. My name is Barbara Brown. I went to the church on 7th yeah, Avenue. You, I live in Maricopa County for 40 security. years. And They're calling security right now no on a parking, and there was no Madam Chair, just let her speak. No ADA compliance. Let her speak. I want that let on Let her speak. Let her talk. Let her speak. Is alive. That was December now they're trying to arrest her. And this is this is America, folks, trying to silence your vote. They are actually trying to arrest people for speaking now out of turn. This is not a democracy, folks. This is an oligarchy. Mr. Martinez, we don't live in a democracy. Yes. These people right here are oligarchs, especially the people on. I'm a registered voter. Yeah, get away, buddy. Okay, my name is Barbara Brown. I'm a registered voter. I'm 70 years old. I've been a registered voter here for 40 years. I went to the church, and I could not find any handicapped parking. I couldn't find any parking for 45 minutes. Stayed online from a quarter to six till 10 o'clock. I was in extreme pain. I am. Uh, I already heard that people who stayed in line and voted were brave and tenacious. I am both brave, and I am very tenacious. Take my word for it. So the people who had to leave, it's not because they weren't brave or they weren't tenacious. They just couldn't wait. Four hours was more than enough. Not only that, I am the, on the early voter list, and I, I'm saying I did get a vote, I did get a vote, and then either it was misplaced or mailed accidentally, I was in hand delivery, I went into the voting place and said I was handicapped, said I had an early vote, but I wasn't sure what happened because they checked, and I checked on the internet. There was no way of checking. They said I had to wait online and do a provisional vote. I said, I'm going to have to leave then because I can't stand online. They said, there's nothing we can do. We got this handout this morning, and it said ADA compliant. It was not. There was no parking. Thank you so much. Your minute's up. I appreciate your testimony. And we have Thank you for not arresting her. Thank you. Thank you for the people for standing up against the oligarchs. Madam Chair, Madam Chair uh, Representatives, my name is Michael Martinez. I'm the Director of Legislative Affairs for the Arizona Citizens Association. I wanted to share a few stories. Uh, the first being that we registered hundreds of students before the February 22nd deadline. Many of us told that, uh, many of them told us that they were not registered as they were supposed to be registered. Uh, we have spent a lot of time at the county recorder's office, so it really, uh, we personally, turned in those registration forms before the deadline. So I knew, I know that they should have been re-registered how they wanted to be registered and were either turned away from the polling place or had to vote provisionally, which I think is an outrage. Um, the other thing is, I personally spent five hours at a voting location talking to voters. There were people there that were there longer than I was that stayed after polling. Uh, I left at 8.30. There were still 200 people in line. And, um, the, 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 that voting location, Escalante Center, was smack dab in between the, the largest community college in the nation and the largest uh, university in the nation. They had one polling location for 100,000 students. Think about they how did, ridiculous they that did this on Finally, purpose. Finally, I live in West Mesa. Mr. Mes uh, Representative Mendelson, I know you represented part of uh, West Mesa before. I want to say that I was talking to uh, Mesa Vice Mayor Dennis Cavanaugh, and he let me know that West Mesa didn't have a single voting location. You had to go either all the way to Lindsay Road in East Mesa or into Tempe to vote. And, and I will share, I do have a, a map that I want to share. I know I'm out of time, uh, Mr. Minister. I will share this, I will send it to you. Thank I had a friend who set up uh, polling locations on a map in Maricopa County compared to uh, poverty rates for each section. And there were two voting locations in, in areas with high poverty rates. And a uh, vast majority of the polling locations were too far away from, from these uh, poverty er or impoverished areas for people who didn't have cars to get to, to spend time to get to. And it's absolutely ridiculous. Someone needs to be held accountable. Not just take responsibility, but be held accountable for the people that didn't have to vote. And I'm, I'm hoping that happens today. Thank you. That was Michael Martinez right there, folks. Standing up for all of us.